the night that you came, the house lights didn't go down. And I was like, <laughs> oh my God, Sally Cookson's here. We know, we know the story of birthmarks. Um, mm. But if you, if you had to describe that to people who might be interested in coming, how, mm-hmm. would, you, how would you explain what Birthmarked is about? A um, semi-improvised autobiographical piece of musical gig theatre. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's what it is. But what it's about is I grew up a Jehovah's Witness um, and I- I'm gay and I've known that my whole life, pretty much. And one of the, the main thing that it focuses on is a practice or a, um, a system in place that's called disfellowshipping, which is basically shunning. So um, if someone sins, they will then get excommunicated from their community, involving including their whole family. And just looking back on it and seeing how many people can, that are connected to me that that's happened to and how it's affected my life, and then wider, worldwide, all these things that I'm trying to unpack through the songs that I've written over the years. It's basically all those songs delivered as a gig to a whale that swallowed Jonah. So this whale has kind of an understanding that some people are being thrown overboard and she wants to know why. So the evolution of this piece of writing has come from inside your head, your mm. own story, mm-hmm. but then trying out, out ideas in an improvised way yeah. and then writing them down yeah, yeah, yeah. and then bringing them into a room and us playing around with them some more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I, I love the way that it's kind of evolved and, and been shaped by the people that you've worked with and your friends, yes, you know, everybody yes. in this, uh, this piece that you've made is, is a very close friend of yours. Uh, and I think that friendship is at the heart of the work. Obviously, I knew your story. We'd, we'd mm-hmm. spoken about it a lot and we'd done a workshop together and you'd, you'd, in the workshop you'd shared quite mm-hmm. a lot of your, your story with us. Um, and then we had a couple of conversations during lockdown when you were very fired up about turning your story into a into a show. And I think you'd mentioned the Jonah yes. story. I remember getting we had I remember thinking, wow, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. amazing, that's amazing. So last year when we did it, the night before, it had been dark in the audience and I couldn't see who, were there, who was there. But the night that you came, the house lights didn't go down. And I was like, <laughs> oh my God, Sally Cookson's here. So when I came to see um, the, the show on the downs, I was just flabbergasted at how you had combined a very well, essentially traumatic episode in your life which still continues to to um, you know be be ha- happening with the most incredible joyful storytelling and sense of hope and love for the world around you um, your family and the future through doing this show, and I won't say, I mean, although it's all over the poster, <laughs> but mm. the character that I've discovered is, is, is just this, it's freedom. Mm. It's like, sh- this character has shed all the things that I've grown up carrying. It's so fascinating seeing you transform, um, you know, the stagecraft of what you have to do, and you physically transform on stage, we won't say too much, but, but when you are transformed into that, other beast creature beast. Um, I was interested what you said in, in rehearsals a couple of days ago about how you feel so powerful mm. as that transformed beast mm. and that you can do anything mm. when you've got the makeup when you've got yeah. the character mm. on you mm. it's not like a mask is it it's the opposite almost it's like how, do, how does that give you the, the freedom to become powerful and um, liberated. I, I'm still discovering that. Yeah. I've, I'm, a, I'm only like probably seven months into discovering that journey, but it, it's, it's like art therapy. When you've been pushed so far, mm. you're scared of acknowledging your power. And, yeah. and we all have it. But the, the energy that I've got now, I just couldn't not do it. I just felt like she's just, she's just a creative beast. Like, yes. it's this thing, and I love playing that character and thinking, how do I bring in what Brooke can do in the hands of this new character? And it's already, I'm like, I, I've got decades of this. Well, and, that, and, and you, you are in a very natural space that you feel is the right space for you mm. in that character. Yeah. 
you belong yeah. on the stage. Right, yeah. Singing, telling stories, being able to transform and play and be creative. That is absolutely where you belong. Mm. And I think that's something I, I saw when I watched you in the Downs version, is that that's where you belong. Oh. <laughs> and, yeah. and, yeah, seeing you come to life and, and have this incredible power it's been a really beautiful thing and yeah it's amazing <laughs> I'm so excited and I'm so grateful oh well, I'm just along for the ride <laughs> <laughs>